Hello, it's Mark here again from MarkSampson.com, M-A-R-C-S-A-M-P.com, and this is the second of two-part video of finding products to resell on your online auction sites from ordinary online retailers. And in the first video, I showed how I used um, products from the cat. Cat gadget, gadgets category from play.com and I hope you agree that uh, that's fairly simple to find products from. Now in this second video I'm going to show you and talk about categories that I stay clear of and why I stay clear of them namely um, media products. Now it's quite ironic actually how play is mainly a media uh, retailer they sell blue well you can see the categories here these are all um, media categories now of course DVDs CDs games when they first come out they're all brand new quite expensive but um, as they get older they're going to devalue as they get older there's going to be more of them about as there's going to be more of them about there's going to be more people reselling them and that's basically hit the nail on the head I stay clear of these categories because you're going to have lots and lots of people selling the same CD, DVD, game, etc. on eBay. Of course, more sellers means more competition. More competition means you've got to lower your price. Lower your price means that you're going to make less profit. And the longer you keep hold of the item, of course, the lower the value is going to be it's going to devalue all the time so I stay clear of those I though these items for a reason and I'm just going to illustrate that now and I've not already done a search for this like I did um, on the other video where I had already done a, uh, a quick look just to save time because I know that this is how this is going to turn out uh, so I'm just going to look in the games category Um, price. Let's start with. Let's look at the cheapest ones. Games from nine ninety nine, and you can redefine your search further by um, console type. Um, I don't know if two or not. I might as well. Uh, let's just say PlayStation Three, mainly because they've been around for even less time than the Xbox, and therefore. Um, you should have less competition because it's been around for a less long time but I'm going to show you use that one because um, even though it's not been around as long the theory will still be there that I've just mentioned about so let's just go for this cheapest one Kung Fu Panda that's at 9.99 with delivery so as I've already mentioned we're looking for products with few the fewest sellers possible and I'm going to tell you now there are going to be lots of sellers for this possibly hundreds or possibly into the hundreds and um, also of course we want to be selling this at a profit now although we're in a sale at the moment I can't actually see that this is going to go back up to the normal RRP price once the sale has ended um, so we'll do a search in eBay for this game Kung Fu Panda Control and C go to eBay Control and V enter and here is our live results page and as you can see we've got loads of different things here let's type in PS3 game there we go and I'm actually quite surprised to see there are only 33 listings um, I bet if I take out game people might not always type in game when they list it so let's just take out game yeah it's almost doubled I'm still surprised there's only 57 people though and it may even have some of these are the same person 
But anyway, um, still 57 is more than 6 on one that we saw in the other video. So still, you've obviously still got lots of competition there. We're looking at completed listings. Uh, 423 completed listings uh, and recent first we want to look at highest price first remember that this is currently on sale on play.com for £9.99 with postage um, that's a bundle so we don't want to worry about that we're looking for ones that are green here we are £16.99 well, um, that has proven me slightly wrong, hasn't it? Even so, I bet there's not many. Don't forget they've got 10% commission to pay out of that and postage. So if you take that into consideration, that's £1.70 commission. Postage is going to be about a pound by the time they've added on the packaging as well. So that's one pound. That's £2.70. You take £2.70 off of that. It doesn't actually leave you with a lot of profit. Um, next one's fifteen ninety five. Look, and the next one's fourteen fifty. So, there's a, and twelve ninety nine. You're obviously not going to make any profit out of that. So you've actually only got three there, out of four hundred and twenty three closed listings, which have made a profit if you was to buy it at nine ninety nine. So, um, although there are ones on there which have ended with a sale more than nine ninety nine. As I've already mentioned, by the time you've taken off your postage or commission, you're not going to make anything on there. Just to show that uh, that wasn't a fluke, um, I'm just going to let's just look at another one for the sake of argument. Let's look at a different console this time. How about uh, the Wii? That's a popular console. Prices from nine ninety nine. Um, the biggest, uh, the biggest loser. Uh, I don't know what that is. Let's let's look at this one. Tom Clancy. That's nine ninety nine as well. Let's highlight, copy, go to eBay. Take off completed listings. Paste. Perhaps I should have typed in we. We will see. Yeah, it's showing PS3. But even so, there's still only 55 and when you've not put in the console. So I'm surprised. But I'd be even more surprised if there's lots of people able to make a profit out of it oh look this is Xbox 360 okay let's look at Xbox 360 I thought I typed in Wii looked, I clicked on the uh, Wii uh, category perhaps I misclicked but anyway uh, are we? this is in not completed listings we currently have 27 Xbox games um, so and competition is not too bad considering much better than I thought it would be as I've already explained but let's see if you're able to make a profit now we can buy it for 9.99 wasn't it uh, highest price first looking for green 15 pounds so again 15 pounds 15, 14 pounds. So again, you might make a couple of pound profit on there, but to me personally, there's quite a bit of competition. The risk's too great. The longer you hold the game for, the more it's going to devalue. So that's why I'd rather, if I'm going to spend 10 pounds on an item to resell, I'd spe rather spend the 10 pounds in the cat gadgets category rather than the gaming category. Hope you can. Hope that's quite clear why I would do that. Um, anyway, hope you found these two videos useful. And I hope that if you decide to use this method of product sourcing, hope you um, make lots of money from it. Let us know how you get on by leaving comments in the um, uh, at the bottom of this uh, post. Thanks very much for watching.